The Case of the Stinky Socks. Chapter 1. The Great Sock Disappearance. In the small, cozy town of Willow Creek, where the biggest event of the year was the Sock Knitting Festival, something peculiar was afoot, or more accurately, a sock. Sammy Sprout, an eight-year-old with more curiosity than a cat with nine lives, noticed something strange. His favorite polka-dotted socks had vanished without a trace, leaving behind only a whiff of... cheese. Sniffer, this smells like a case for us, Sammy declared, looking down at his dog, who was busy sniffing his paws, perplexed by the sudden lack of socks to chew on. Lily Lace, Sammy's best friend, and the only person in town who could remember the exact number of polka dots on Sammy's socks was equally baffled. I swear it's like the socks just grew legs and walked away, she said, sketching a pair of socks with legs in her detective notebook which he'd found more amusing than practical. Together, with Sniffer leading the charge, distracted occasionally by interesting smells and the need to mark every other tree, they set out to solve the mystery of the stinky socks. Chapter 2. The Sock Sniffing Snafu Sammy, Lily, and Sniffer's investigation led them on a wild goose chase around Willow Creek. Their first suspect was the local cat, Whiskers, known for her penchant for stealing shiny objects. But socks? Preposterous, declared Mrs. Furbottom, whiskers human, as whiskers herself looked on with disdain, a ball of yarn precariously close to being unraveled. Their next clue led them to Mayor Marigold's office, where the mayor was in a tizzy. The festival is in two days, and at this rate, we'll have to call it the Barefoot Boogie Dance, she exclaimed, accidentally knocking over a pile of official documents, which, amusingly, did include a proposal for a barefoot boogie. Sammy, Lily, and Sniffer continued their investigation, undeterred by the mayor's dance ideas or the mounting evidence that socks were indeed not the preferred loot of local pets. Chapter 3. The Midnight Stakeout Determined to catch the sock thief in action, our trio planned a stakeout. Equipped with night vision goggles, two toilet paper rolls taped to a pair of sunglasses, a detective hat for Sniffer, much to his chagrin, and a large net borrowed from Mrs. Furbottom, who still had no idea what happened to her yarn, they set their trap. As the clock struck midnight, Sniffer's ears perked up. He sniffed the air, smelling something stinky. With a bark, he dashed off with Sammy and Lily close behind. They followed Sniffer to the old mill at the edge of town, where the smell of cheese was overwhelming. This must be where the socks come to ripen, Sammy whispered his voice a mixture of awe and disgust. Chapter 4. The Skunky Culprit Hiding behind a bush, they watched a small figure emerge from the shadows. It was a skunk, and it was wearing Sammy's polka-dotted socks on its ears. I guess it's cold out tonight, Lily whispered, trying not to laugh. More skunks appeared each sporting various socks. It was a skunk sock party. They danced and frolicked, their stinky aroma mixing with the cheesy scent of the socks. Sammy had an idea. Let's give them what they want, he said, pulling out a pair of old socks from his backpack, ones he'd specially prepared with an extra cheese smell. Chapter 5. The Stinktastic Solution Sammy, Lily, and Sniffer presented their solution to the town the next day, a donation drive for old, no longer needed socks for the skunks. The townspeople were initially skeptical, but soon warmed up to the idea, especially when Sammy explained it would save the sock knitting festival. The drive was a hit, and the skunks were delighted with their new, smelly treasures. The sock knitting festival went ahead as planned, with a new addition, a skunk appreciation segment that featured skunk-friendly sock designs. As for the trio, they were hailed as heroes. Mayor Marigold even awarded Sniffer a medal, which he tried to eat, thinking it was a tough, very tasteless cookie. Chapter 6. The Festival of Socks and Laughter The festival was filled with laughter, socks, and a few skunks, now considered honorary citizens of Willow Creek. Sammy, Lily, and Sniffer watched from the sidelines, Proud of their work, but ready for their next adventure. Next time, let's solve the mystery of the missing pies, 
Lily suggested, already looking forward to their next case. Sammy nodded. As long as it doesn't stink as much as this one, he said, and they all laughed, including Sniffer, who barked happily, his metal shining in the sun. Join our community of kids who love to learn and have fun by subscribing to our channel.